Yeah, don't kick. Put it on the knee. Very light. Yeah, your yeah yeah. yeah. No, your foot is too uh, cumbersome. Your foot should be very agile, like a cat. So when we are here, you do this, the elbow. You do this jerk. Just add a little bit of a thing for him to feel you're doing something. On that here, can you see? On that here, the knee is light. On that here, on that, can you see now? You are there. So put a lot of a fighting intention in it, and usually uh, fighting combinations are two to three moves. Go. Yeah, not enough to the Dantian. All these moves must center into, that's it. You feel that into the Dantian? Yeah, and uh, now that's it. Kick. The kick is the same as this here. I'll show you. Watch me again. So this is in position. On the position here, you only you don't need a large move. In fighting, you won't have this opportunity. You only have this. Kicking is the same. So when you when you place your foot on his knee, it's not possible to do this. It's for these close range moves. It's just like. <coughs> Like this, like a little shaking. And that's all it, it takes for your foot to be on the knee. The little bit of a shaking vibration will totally destroy the knee. You don't need a large punch or like a kick, like an external hard roundhouse or whatever kind of a kick. There's no real expression. It's just a jam. But this is a method to train for you to gradually know how to kick. So your knee is, your foot is on your opponent's knee, you do this. That stretch here, this is your foot and your hip. Don't do this. Don't do this one. It's like there's so much power, you're, you're here. Can you see if it's so strong, when you stretch it, it bounces back. It's, 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 it's here. And to do this, this becomes external if the move is too large. Because we only require a little bit of vibration to cause power, damage. 